Hello everybody and welcome to our kitchen here in Brittany in northwest France. I'm Jane, Mike is my husband and he's behind the camera. We're early retirees, debt and mortgage free and living a very frugal life here in Brittany in France. And every Friday we open our kitchen and share our cooking, our food and our money saving in the kitchen with you. And that's what we're going to do this week. So let's take a look at what we're going to cook this week. Now, if you've been here before, you know we're all about homemade, home cooking, humble food and stretching and bulking recipes out without making them too stodgy or heavy and that is exactly what we're going to be doing today. I'm going to be making a very humble cottage pie and my very humble version of a lasagna. And I'm going to run through the ingredients with you now to show you how I keep the price of all of these things down because even home cooking can be expensive so I'm going to be sharing those ingredients with you now. I'm going to get Mike to follow me now. I'm going to start off with things like when I make cheese sauce. When I make cheese sauce of any kind, I use dried, I use hard Italian cheese. It's not dried, hard Italian cheese. Now, this cost me just over a euro for this. It is excellent value because it is so strong in flavour. And when you get a really cheesy, strong cheese, you need less of it in a cheese sauce and it goes further. I'd actually go so far to say that 150 grams in a litre of cheese sauce is more than enough. Let's put that back in there. Now, another thing I always do is I always use long life milk, ultra heat treated milk. Here in France, this is normal. This is normal. In the UK, this is not normal. So here, this is how this is much, much cheaper. I can also, I go out and buy multi packs of these. And coming down to these in my cottage pie not only do I put meat in it but I also in my cottage pie I put beans in it so these are the basically the same beans but these are beans and tomato sauce and these are beans without it it adds some lots of protein lots of flavor and you can use much less meat now each to their own I always say that but when I buy things like tin tomatoes I always look out for the whole ones because the whole ones are cheaper than the chopped tomatoes. I can chop the tomatoes myself. Also, I'm looking in the supermarket when I buy things like this. This is Leclerc's, or as we say in France, Leclerc's own cheapest brand. Cheapest brand. And this is Intermarché, Intermarché's cheapest brand. And that's what I'm doing when I'm looking for the lowest products. Now, when it comes to things like stock cubes, yes, I will buy the supermarket's own brand stock cubes, but I find this brand here, if it's on offer, will be as cheap. So I'm looking out for the offers too. I know that's a very common thing, people are looking out for the offers. Americans, you would say you're looking out for the sales. When it comes to things like chopping up the celery to put in. Now, when I do this, I pull all the leaves off at the end of it. I don't use these, but all of these get bagged and frozen, and all of that gets used up in stews later on as flavouring. Now, when it comes to, we British people call this minced beef, but I've learned the word the Americans call this is hamburger. Both because you use it to make patties, don't you, to make hamburgers. I've got two and a half pounds here, which is a kilo. I only ever buy this if it's on offer. So this one was reduced because it was a short date and I froze it and I bought this 700 gram packs when they were on special. Otherwise, I'm not paying the price they want for it. It's too much money. And I make this go a very, 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 very long way. Same with carrots. Um, I always buy the great, the bigger the bags, the more I can use. And I just buy those, the regular carrots. Now with a cottage pie, I'm going to be making lots of mashed potato to go on top of it. So I don't buy any fancy potatoes. You can see now mine are, they're a week old, they've started to sprout. But don't worry, I just cut all that off and cut them up and they are fine. 
Uh, onions, I'm not fussy about onions. Um, the, the ones in the net like this, they don't look great, do they? But don't forget, these grew last year and they've been stored. But they're fine, they're fine. And then when I'm bulk cooking, there's only the two of us. If I show you the size of this, it's about a loaf tin size. That is enough lasagna for the two of us. And the same again with these. They, they look, you can't really see the size that I put there. If you see one hand, two hands, that's the size I would make for cottage pie. So I hope that gave you a bit of insight into how I keep my food costs down. It's clever buying, it's making sure I buy when it's on offer, I buy long life, the cheesiest cheese. I hope that all helped. my main ingredients. In each pan some ingredients I didn't show you earlier. In each pan I've got 100 grams which is about four ounces of fatty chopped bacon which is lardons and I'm going to add half of the meat to each pan, half the carrots, half the onions and half the celery. I'm then going to saute those down one will become a ragu based sauce, so that would be very rich and tomato-y with lots of garlic in it as well. I don't have any fresh garlic so I'm going to be adding garlic powder and also some mixed Italian herbs which here in France we call Provençal herbs. Whereas in the cottage pie mix that won't go in there and beans and a beef stock cube will go into that one. So I've got both of them ready to go and I'm going to get cooking.
left everything to cook for 30 minutes on low. Now my cottage pie base, I want that to be quite thick. So I have one, I'm in shock, yeah. One tablespoon here of corn flour. Um, this is a French product called Arom. It's a seasoning. You could use Worcester sauce if you didn't have this. This makes it brown as well. So it's got a bit of caramel in it to color it. And I do this, I take this, mix it together. What a very satisfying glug glug noise. Okay. Corn flour. I mix it till it's all gone. No lumps. Lump police, don't fear, there's no lumps. There it is. And this will thicken it. Smell this. of batch cooking is absolute chaos so tripod one tripod two what's that five lasagnas there still some ragu sauce there dog mithers me all the time i'm cooking as if i might drop something there's washing up and chaos absolutely everywhere and in there there's three cottage pies under the grill browning off i do like to give you the reality it's not like television where they just go, bling, it's all done. No, this is what it looks like in a real house. Chaos. Husband waiting to go through. He's being quiet because I'm going, I'm filming. <laughs> She's filming. I'm filming. <laughs> are three quite large cottage pies. I'll put my hand down for, you can see how big they are. This will make two good size evening meals for us. And then we'd have two smaller portions in a small bowl with a few leftover vegetables for our lunch the next day. So there we go, three cottage pies. They're not completely cooked. I've just browned them under the grill. That's all I've done today make them look pretty for you guys. There you go, three cottage pies. And 
there are the lasagnas. The tops have been browned as well. So you see this large one here would be dinner for two nights and each of the smaller ones would be dinner for one night. So let's take a look here at how many portions we've got all together. So we have four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. So that's 18 meals there all together out of 10 euros worth of very stretched beef. I did have some of the ragu sauce left over and ate some. It was yummy. It was really rich and beefy and tomatoey. So there they all are. I think I'll change the menu plan. I've been smelling this. It's so delicious. I think we'll have lasagna for dinner and I'll change the menu plan. And the rest I will leave to cool, put the little lids on them and they will go in the freezer. noise that's my dishwasher I've cleaned up all the kitchen after I've let everything cool down so you can see everything's got its lids on they're all ready they're not certainly not cold enough to go into the freezer yet but there they all are all ready and as I said I changed the menu plan we're definitely having lasagna for dinner so there they are all ready for the freezer a bit of work but Wow, that is going to save us loads of money. So it's the day after the big batch cook and I'm feeling really good about it. I feel really good that I've got all those meals tucked away in the freezer. I also feel really good that I took a very expensive ingredient and didn't need very much of it to make all those meals. We had the lasagna last night. Honestly, when you're eating it, you would never know it's more vegetables than meat. It still had that really rich, meaty flavour about it. Now, we really hope that you enjoy these thrifty and frugal food videos. And if you do, go on, give it a like. It really helps the algorithm and it helps us get those videos out there. We know half of you watching regularly are not subscribers, so go on become a subscriber it costs you nothing we love to hear from you we love your supportive and kind comments so feel free to leave a comment we read every single one of them just leaves me to say on behalf of mike and i thank you so much for everybody to everybody who watches and we'll see you again very soon goodbye for now